Welcome to Factorio Death World. My name is Nilo. So this is episode 19 of our Let's Play. Today we are going to carve out the space. The space has now been freed and before they expand in here I need to claim this ground. But that is a lot of uh, construction both of the city blocks that I want to spread out there and also uh, walls and stuff. So I have decided that I want to do this as a bit of a time lapse. That means from we uh, get started, we are going to do time lapse, and then I'm going to speak on top of it. So let's see how that pans out, and let me know how you uh, how you like that. Let's dive in. Right, we are jumping in. This is at a speed of three. We are now. That means uh, I'm moving three times as fast as I normally do. And the first thing we obviously need to do is resupply to for our little quest out there. And no matter what I do, I will not have enough. I don't have enough walls, I don't have enough turrets, I don't have enough of anything else, but I'm going to fill up my inventory with stuff and then we should be, uh, we should head out. So what we want to do first, we make a little land bridge so we can get out. I have very full inventory, but that's just problematic. There we go. Let's just have to take those out here. And we have now a little land bridge. Now this land bridge is actually not safe because this is a bridge without having having any defenses around it. And I'm going to start putting down my my city blocks. The reason why I'm putting it down city blocks here is actually just to get some structure and make sure that I have power poles. It also makes it easier for me to get robot ports out here because I know exactly that robot ports four robot ports fit within a city block, so it doesn't really cost me anything to do this and I get a really big benefit from it, I feel. Because I get power distributed, I get a structure where I know how easily to put robot ports in. And now what I'm doing here is I am taking my ammo belt. This is super important. This is the first thing I need as I go up. Because I need the ammo belt still circulating my entire base. That means when I make a new domain... Oh, hello biters. Just four little biters. Luckily that's not a big attack force, but just a small one. Uh, that's going to be a problem. So... Right, the, really the stressful part here is having to build the wall and get the ammo in there, which is what I'm going to do. This is just trying to gauge sort of where do I want it in size. And then I just realized, you know what, I should actually start over by the wall. Over by the, by the sea. So that's going to be stamped down here. Just removing it, and this is actually the most stressful moment because I don't have a defense against anything coming in at this moment. And I need my ammo belt. Ammo belt is not even working, but it's coming in here. Come on, little biters. Or drones, sorry. <clears throat> so this is, this is, a, I'm just like, come on, come on, come on, don't attack me, don't attack me. And looks like we are almost there. So we're getting stuff in but we still don't have night no, we don't have power inbound and we don't have uh, and there I realized that there's a mistake look at the some of the power poles are too close that's the good rate location I want to make sure that the pattern is consistent and we now have power we have the first bit of ammo coming in so as soon as we have that ammo coming in I'm already feeling a lot safer See, and now we start the wall. The wall is just going to be the sector the same. Whoa, did you notice that? We must have been attacked down here while I was away. And that has stopped the ammo belt. This is super important that we need to keep this going. Getting back up. Capturing the little drones. And continuing on the expansion. So this is going to be the main expansion type at this point. It, it's okay for now as long as it, they have red ammo. The piercing rounds, it's going to be okay, but it will just eventually break. They'll scratch something. Oh, they have expanded inside. And I also realized that the location out to out on the copper field that I'm not taking on the top left, no, not left, north, northeastern part is, um, yeah, it, I need to take that out for sure. And here we have another little issue is I can expand a lot faster than the belt can fill up these these belts or uh, these turrets. So that that's, that's something we just have to have to make sure that I don't go too far forward. So right now actually really convenient that I'm getting a little breather because there is an expansion inside. So let's put some ammo, some stuff in here. It's there, running on wood. The wood burner. Also, please notice the music. It doesn't sound actually bad. 
Alright, so killing some spiders. Yeah, and um, as you maybe see on the screen, there is a pledge to subscribe to the channel. So I've noticed that there, with this series there are a lot of new viewers to the channel, which is always absolutely amazing. It would be nice for me to see that new viewers also convert into subscribers. Uh, subscribing is it doesn't have any sort of intrinsic value except for sort of nice to have more subscribers on the channel but it also does means that there is a more likelihood that you will get recommended by the youtube algorithm for my videos and yeah that that's good right if you want to if you like watching the videos why why not get them promoted in your recommended feed so if you feel that you, you want to see more of my videos then uh, maybe hit the subscribe button anyway more damage. So this is actually, it's going okay, but you can see how much damage I'm taking. If this was bigger, I would actually be in genuine trouble. And the piercing rounds, they just don't really cut it anymore. The thing is, when you get stuck in a situation where you get slowed down and you are... And you're strafing around, the biters are on your heels and you can't slow down because... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's bump it. Um... You can slow down, and if you start shooting with the with the explosive shells at the biters pursuing you, it's not going to end well. Because they will actually do collateral damage to your own tank, and you can actually do way more damage with that than, than by, yeah, that you would normally do. And these corners, I just don't have a good solution to how to do these. It's just the way it is. They are something. I don't know. And now we're getting into the position where we're actually starting to run out of materials. Get this one out. We are now moving downwards. But it's just, it's really convenient right now. You can see the ammo has caught up with the end of the belt. So ammo is getting put in immediately. But, you know, turrets are also running out and soon. You can see I have 99 walls left. So that's, that's also running out. So we're just putting a bit more in, but not really a lot. Now that's move things over so I only have one vehicle so we got that here and I'm gonna head back but there will be some will be some destruction on the way back because we need to do another supply run and again with the music it sounds really weird I probably should have disabled music and then put some music in post but uh, this just seems like an evil carnival music which is probably good as well here we have the copper that's the last bit of the thing Things I want you. Oh, hello, biters. Yeah, that's a small one. Not a, a big deal. Look at that. We still took a few scratches on the paint of the tank, but it's not really a big deal. And at this point, it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to do anything here. Right? There. Let's just go, go back. And we also don't even have enough power poles. So, go back to the base. Bump into things. So, another supply run. We need... Walls, we need turrets, lots and lots of turrets. But first we need to clean out our inventory because we have lots of wood. Let's make sure that that goes back in here to the fuel. That one, I use even distribution to force it in super fast. Yep, hit that power pole, that's important. Must hit the power pole. All right, let's see how many, 184, right? Yeah, 184, that's a lot of turrets. It's not like all the turrets we need, but it's a lot of turrets. And go over here, get some walls. We should have like, well, how much is that? That's another one. Nope. There. What? That's not very much. Yeah, so that's a problem. We don't really have a lot of of walls. Or maybe I just put them in my 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 tank. I didn't even see, or in, in the car, I didn't even see it. So, I am going to grab some more because I know that we need, we need more, more turrets. So I'm going to do it in a very, very silly way, but that's just the way it is. There. More turrets. I just want to make these. The turrets are just... It's important to do. And I have nothing else to do while running around. So I might as well just handcraft. And I decide also, because we lost a few of the little construction drones, to so top it up to 20 construction drones. Unfortunately, that's after all the rest of the craft. So we're now at 209 turrets. Good thing they don't take in electricity, actually. That's actually good that they don't. But walls are not great. So getting a few more of these in. You can see how few I actually have. And now I'm just chopping up 
the internal grid here and there's just a few ones here so there we go we now have the entire city blocks already built it'd be great and this is why you don't build things manually but that the drones take care of it right so this part is secure and now i can move down okay yeah i did have more walls i i thought so and you can also see that we started researching we researching pretty much everything everything we can uh combat robotics is in progress i've seen a lot of comments about hey get combat robotics i know that destroy robots are amazing but i really don't feel that defender robots are very much worth it also because i need to be close and i really don't like being close to the biters and they're very expensive in terms of of the iron or more specifically the steel needed and it's actually not something i have like tons and tons of so i do prefer the using the tank with the explosive shells that's it's just really more my thing. Uh, it, it Explosive cells do take some oil with the plastic and the explosives. But you know, I think that's... Uh, so far it's been really well. And, and when you take out a biter base, it, it's... It looks like 20 of those or something. It's not that bad. And uh, yeah, it's, it keeps going. So we also just passed the oil location. This is all the oil we can actually get. We are now tapping four new resources with this location. We tap... A, big 30 million iron i think a big 10 million copper a very small uranium deposit and five oil patches that's really nice and we've now run out of run out of walls again unfortunately but they i'm still working on more i'm down to 40 40 turrets 20 turrets and still handcrafting i don't know 25 more so we're still definitely going to run out of this as well it is a lot. So we brought like, I don't know, 250 turrets and they're all gone now. Okay, yeah. We we're still being attacked at all the other locations and I just, at this point, I just have to ignore it. It's very simple. I just have to ignore it and hope that it works. There, getting the corner. This corner is also super important. Well, all corners are. But we're now heading back to... Yeah, heading back towards the, the final... Final, the home stretch, you could say. The home stretch. There you go. And now I'm doing landmines. I don't know why I would ever want landmines. But at this point, I'm basically just researching everything. What I want to do now is just getting it back. The only thing I actually have left that I I can build is the... Is it? It, it's actually just the belt. I don't even have inserters or walls or turrets. But it's it's fine. So, there you go. More things. Lots and lots of energy weapon upgrades. I'll take this one out, because now it should be safe. Now I'm taking out the flame turret, because the flame turret, if it activates, it'll actually start flaming yeah, pretty much everything. And we've actually made it all the way back. Like, technically. We now have a full loop going through. Here, you can see just a brief glance of how little is actually coming on the belt. But it's one of those things where it just circulates, and eventually it'll fill up with like a stupid amount of materials let's take more how many did we get we got 91 that's not much uh, so we're gonna get some some more stuff so we can handcraft a few more handcrafting is super important there we go let's get a few more we don't know if we need it i'm just gonna grab some here yeah, we do another batch and that's another 40 plus we had the 94 so i think we're almost there Right? I think that's going to be somewhat what we need. And let's also go over here, get some more walls. Please have enough. How much is that? That's the 1k. Yep. So 1,000 1, walls additional. Walls are producing pretty quickly because we now have our stone production in, under control as well with our new stone patch that we tapped last time. Or was it the time before? Yep, just... I was about to head out, but then I realized, you know what? I'm actually going to grab some something here because i want to hook up our new oil deposit not for oil but just for just to hook it up actually for some flamers the reason why i'm, I'm at this point i'm thinking you know i'm uh, i'm taking out the defense down at that location and that included four flamers and it was holding steady but it was still getting beat up once in a while so if i just replace it with just normal turret line it's just not gonna cut it is it and that's my that's my main concern here, is that I, it's not really... It might not be enough, so I really should have some flamers. Flamers are amazing. And we're moving all the way out here. 
I want to start up here because first, the, la the, the first part or the last part, depending on the direction, the ones closest to my base, they're not really that important to take. It really isn't. And here we go, we're tapping the oil. It's more important to take the stuff that's facing directly towards the biggest enemies. I don't know if our pollution cloud is out here. I think it might. Uh, it, it probably is. Pollution cloud is way bigger than, than your base is. Always, always, always. There, get this one. I realize now that I forgot to put in a storage tank, which I absolutely should have done. So this distance here is very important. I am making a distance of two tiles between the flamer turret and the belt. The reason why I'm doing that is because that location will be used for, uh, will be used for, I'm gonna show it here with laser turrets. Laser turrets will be in that location. So it's going to be from the outside my defenses will be Dragon's Teeth, Double Wall, Turret Line, Belt, Laser Turrets, Flamer Turrets. Because that's also how the range works. Unfortunately, we are not getting a complete wall out here. Still running out. I'm also still not having enough. Yeah, so this needs to be done. And I want, I want actually, well, honestly, I want Flamers all the way around my base. It's going to take a lot of oil. But I just don't see that there's any way that I can defend my perimeter without having consistent flamers and lasers and walls and all that stuff. It needs to be multi layers in order to defend against the green biters, the behemoth biters once they come out. We're at something like maybe 75% evolution and they pop up with 90% evolution. So I definitely need to be ready for it. And uh, also when we start using artillery then we'll get some massive attacks coming in you can see now i would say this is probably good enough defense now let's put in some radars it's probably good enough defense so we have actually secured the perimeter we just had an attack on our base that's great i'm gonna take this one out because this is now no longer needed it's inside so take that one and there's a lot more cleanup but i don't want to do that so we are actually at the end here. We have a perimeter secured, secured-ish. And I was about finding our way back and I get lost in the woods for some unknown reason. And we've now tapped the four big locations. I put a gate for no reason because I had it. There we go. We have the full setup. So I hope you appreciate it. I hope you like this setup. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.